duplicate this. What? How to do a duplicate denture with a trios. Okay, let me show you how. Okay, right now we're going to show you how to do a duplicate denture with a trio scanner. So we're going to create an order to do the duplicate denture. First, you're going to click into a new case. And then you will select status scan. Okay, because we're, we're scanning the upper denture, so I'm going to select upper. So make sure your scanner is on. There's a green light right there. Make sure the scanner is on. I find it's more successful to scan from the attack wheel surface. I'm going to turn on the scanner. And I'm going to start capturing all the intact wheel surface first. Undercut. I'm going to slowly go to the border area. Up to the crucial surface. We're gonna go around the crucial. And then we're gonna go to the buckle. And we're let's patch the border area. And then see if there's any other undercuts that we need to capture. Alright. Okay, we're going to stop and take a look at our scan. And then you can also click into monochrome mode. This is what the lab see most of the time, so you want to make sure this is where you can inspect the scan to see if there's any voids, any missing area. So if there's anything missing, it's going to be highlighted in green. So, so far so good. I would like just to kind of close up the border a little bit. And there's a tiny dot right there. This won't impact the um, duplicate dentures, but if you want, we can go ahead and go straight to it and scan in that area. So, there we go. check again see there's no longer a green spot no more green spot I'm gonna go ahead and post process scan that I just did right here this is gonna be the final check artificial intelligence will clean up everything that we just did so we want to inspect to see if there are any voids anything prior to filling those area in so you notice there's green here and green there. Um, there's minor impact, which is not going to cost the uh, fit of the duplicate denture. So we can go ahead and move forward to press post process. Do you see how clean it is? This is what we're looking for when we receive a duplicate denture scan for our client. And I, here we go. We can do monochrome view. And look at that. So smooth and clean. Now you can go ahead and right click export STL file or send directly to our client.